So good morning everyone. Today I will be discussing the pathophysiology of acute nasopharyngitis. So acute nasopharyngitis, it is also um, termed or called as the common cold. Um, it is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract. Alright, so there, acute nasopharyngitis, also known as common cold, um, is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract is the most common infectious disease in humans and then it triggers an, uh, an acute inflammatory disease in the upper respiratory the nasal cavity and the pharynx And the inflammation may spread to your uh, tonsils, sinuses, and conjunctiva. So, there are also predisposing factors. Bakit uh, tayo maaaring magkaroon ng acute nasopharyngitis? So, first is... Okay, so for the predisposing factors, first is infants. Ayan. Or yung mga bata, sila yung usually na uh, nagkakaroon nito. Pati yung mga taong merong weakened immune system. So, there are two factors na pwedeng mag-cause ng acute nasopharyngitis. First is yung GABHS or yung group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infections and then viruses. Okay, so ito yung una, di ba? Yung GA, yung GABHS or yung group A beta hemolytic um, streptococcal infection. So itong GABHS na to, uh, it can spread via respiratory droplets through close contact like uh, pag nahatsingan or naubuhan ka ng isang tao. And the incubation period can last for 2 to 5 days. <coughs> So, there are eight types of uh, viruses that can cause acute nasopharyngitis. First is the EBV or the mononucleosis, then rhinovirus, adenovirus, parainfluenza virus, um, coxsackie virus, coronavirus, echovirus, and the cytomegalovirus or CMV. Okay, so both the GABHS and the um, viruses pareho lang ng nagiging effect sa ating katawan. So ano ba nangyayari sa katawan natin? So first is so nagkakaroon ng inflammation ng ating nares, um, pharynx, 
hypopharynx, uvula, and ating tonsils. Inflammation of the nares, pharynx, um, hypopharynx, uvula, and tonsils. And then after that, what will happen? Um, the inflammation may spread and it will, it will spread to the adjacent tonsils, sinuses, and to your conjunctiva. Okay, so the inflammation already um, spread to the adjacent tonsils, sinuses, and conjunctiva. Of course, your uh, nasal mucosa will be inflamed. Okay, so now the nasal mucosa is inflamed too. What will be the next thing that will happen is that you will have edema. Magkakaroon ng edema dito. And then that edema will reduce the airway patency along with the nasal secretions. Kasi nga sya, pwede ba nang magana? May hirapan ng uh, lumabas yung hangin or pati yung mga secretions na meron ka. <coughs> So, yun nga, diba? Um, nagkaroon na ng edema. Na-reduce na yung airway patency along with nasal secretions. Nandun lang siya, hindi mo siya mailabas. Siyempre, magkakaroon yung bata ng cyanosis or yung pagka-bluish discoloration ng kanyang skin kasi nahihirapan na nga siyang mag-exhale. So, um, earlier, we talked about the reduced airway patency along with the nasal secretion. So, what will happen to our bronchi and bronchioles? Of course, it will be plugged with thick and viscid mucus kasi nga hindi natin, or hindi mailabas no um, patient na merong acute nasopharyngitis. Yung mga secretions na yun. Okay, so, um, ayun nga, diba? Hindi mailabas yung secretions. So, since hindi mailabas yung secretions na yun, kumakapal siya, nagiging thick na and viscid mucus. Since gano'n na yung nangyayari, ano na yung mangyayari sa bata nito? Siyempre, yung bata, nahihirapan na siyang mag-exhale. Uh, meron ng difficulty expelling air, pero wala namang difficulty sa pag-inhale. Doon lang sa paglabas ng air. <coughs> Thank you. 
so uh, there's this thing called so there's this cycle where we uh, inhale oxygen and then exhale carbon dioxide so since uh, inhale lang yung nagagawa ng maayos and then yung exhale hindi since inflamed na nga and uh, may reduce airway patency na nagkakaroon ng hinder sa exchange ng gases Since there is hindrance in the exchange of gases, uh, it will also result to cyanosis. Since di naman kayo ngayong bata, and there will, where, there will be problems such as ineffective breathing pattern or ineffective airway clearance. There. So that's it. That's the pathophysiology of acute nasopharyngitis, how it develops inside the body.